Okay, so today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different. Uh, I finished up a largemouth bass a couple weeks ago, and I've been working on the habitat base for it. So uh, I've, I've got most of it done. Um, I've got some rocks carved and painted, uh, but I've decided I need to add a few more. So today I'm going to I'm going to be cutting out a few more rocks and uh, out of some scrap wood and painting them and probably going to also make some gravel today and, uh, and I'm going to show you my process of doing that. Um, Y'all probably already know what this is, um, Durham's water putty, it's a powder and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to use it to make gravel with. But anyway, I'm going to get started on this so uh, we'll uh, got some stuff here that I'm going to use. Um, I don't have a complete shop, so I just got the bare minimum tools. So I'm going to be using uh, my belt grinder here to shake these rocks. These are just some scrap pieces of wood come off other projects that I've kind of roughly shaped on a bandsaw. And, uh, and, you know, I've got several different sizes. They're just random shapes. And uh, I'm going to grind these down on the belt grinder. Uh, and then I'll take them inside in a little bit and, and then I'll paint them. But I'm also going to be making the gravel um, for the habitat base. And I think I showed you this a minute ago, but the, I'm going to be using this Durham's water putty. Uh, it's just a powder uh, that you that I mix with some water, drip, drop water in and shake it up and it makes a little gravel shape pieces. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you that. We're going to get set up and I'm going to get started. Okay, so what I've got set up here is I've got my belt sander that I'm just laying upside down on the table here. And uh, here, let me move this down where we can see that a little bit better. So I'm just going to be taking these pieces of scrap wood. Um, this is scrap tupelo that I'm going to use. Uh, and I've kind of just cut a rough shape out. And then I'll uh, grind them down into a roughly rock shape. And then, uh, then I'll take them inside and paint them. Uh, and then before that, I'll we'll make some gravel too. So I'm going to start this up here. Okay, so I got these down to uh, just kind of a semi-rough shape. Um, I will take them on, uh, use my Dremel and smooth them down a little bit, smooth down some corners um, just to make them a little more rock shape. I'll leave a little bit of texture on there because it, it um, shows up well in the uh, paint as rock texture. So I'm just going to lay these aside for right now and then I'm going to start on this gravel. Um, so give me just a minute and I'll be right up. Okay, so what I use on this gravel is uh, I use the Durham's water putty. Uh, you can get this at any hardware store. Uh, woodworkers use it for filling nail holes and cracks and uh, that sort of thing in wood and I'm gonna use it to make habitat gravel with. And what I do is uh, I get me a gallon size Ziploc bag. Um, and then I'll have me a, a straw handy. Um, and then I got a little water dropper just a little syringe thing that I can drop some water in and on. And what I'll do is I'll put some of this into the bag here. 
and then of course I got some water here and I'm gonna put this down here so what I'll do is I'll take some of this try to flatten out the bottom of the bag and then I put I dump some in there Then I take this water syringe, pull up some water on here, and then I just put some drops in there, just drips. And I do that and let it set and soak up a little bit. And then in a few seconds, I'm gonna Give that time to soak up a minute, and then I'll close the bag up and air it up, and uh, shake it up, and that those will form little rocks. So let me do that here. So I'm gonna zip this bag closed almost all the way. Zip it up. So I got me a little air pocket in there. And I just kind of shake it around a little bit. And what that does is that forms on them little drops of water and makes little balls. that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some more water in there. And to make more irregular shapes, I just dip my fingers in, spritz it in there, and this will make smaller drips with the smaller gravel pieces, if that makes sense. Seal it back up. There you fly. Mm. <laughs> Bad thing about working outside, they got flies and mosquitoes. Alright, give it a good shake. Bounce it around a little bit. Tub here. Strainer. Dump all that in there. And then what you have left is gravel. Voila, you can break some of the bigger pieces up. It might've been a little too big, but if you want some that are big, I'm just gonna dump these over here on a paper towel to dry out. It doesn't take long for this stuff to dry and harden either. And I just dump most of it out on the table. <laughs> so, Dump this back in the bag and start all over again. And I'll just do that until uh, until I get all the rocks I need. And uh, and after they harden, um, I I paint them and I'll show you how to paint that in a minute. And um, but they need to harden first. And it looks like it doesn't take long. Um, but I'm gonna leave it right there for right now and then uh, come back and hopefully have all of them done. Okay, since it's 
done now, you can see the, the different sizes and shapes. Some of the bigger pieces I may take and mold in my fingers just a little bit, just to kind of give them more of a, a pebble shape. And they're still just a little wet and pliable, so you can, uh, you can do that. Um, just so they're not all uniformly round. And they're, they're, they have different shapes. Uh, I mean, it's, it looks natural. And then I'll paint them here in a minute. Um, so you can kind of see, I'll divide it in groups and then I'll just spritz some pr spray paint on it to uh, give them all just a little bit different color. And then I'll take them in uh, inside and I may dry wash some uh, colors of the rocks on, on them, uh, the main rocks, so it gives them all just a little bit, so they blend in well, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I really need some more, uh, but I ran out of uh, I ran out of the uh, Durham's hard water putty. Um, next, I'm going to buy. They make this in like a, a big gallon-sized container. Uh, it's not very expensive. I think I think this was only about four bucks. This little container, little uh, one-pound container, and I think it's a uh, five or six-pound container. It's 14 or 15 bucks but anyway it goes a long way um, but anyway I'm gonna get this set up to paint now and kind of show you how I paint it uh, it needs to dry out just a little bit more and uh, especially some of the bigger pieces and uh, which won't take long out here in this heat and the uh, Sun I'll just scatter them out a little bit here and then uh, in a few minutes we'll get it painted and then uh, take it side and start on uh, putting it in on the base Okay, so the, these are dry enough, I think, that I can uh, start adding a little bit of paint to them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly spray, spread it out a little bit more here. So that I can get more covered. And I'm just gonna lightly spray each pile with a little bit different color. And I've got some uh, some dark brown and some brown and a little bit of gray and I just it's not going to cover it all because I, and after it dries I'll roll them around and kind of spray the other side and then I'll take it inside um, after they've had a chance to dry on the spray paint and I'll dry brush some colors that I'll be using on the rocks on them um, so that it'll look more natural it'll blend in more with the with the actual rock surrounding so um, all right I'm gonna start with these, uh, this darker color here on this pile here I guess and I'm just gonna lightly spray it so that it doesn't and then I'll take some of this gray or this brown and I'll spray this pile with it Actually, this is no, that's the darker. And then I let that dry for a few minutes, and uh, and then I roll them around and and give them another spray to kind of give it all coats on all sides. And then not all of it will be get covered, which that's okay because that leaves a little bit of light in there. Uh, just it just adds just leaves another color to it so um all right i'm gonna roll these around so you can see how it uh rolls it over on the bottoms of the covers and i may do that a couple times to get it get all the pieces covered and it doesn't take long for that spray paint to dry on there as light as i'm putting it on there because it you know, doesn't even get on my hands Okay, now that I've got them turned over, I'll do another coat here. Same addition. And then this little bit of a 
brown color ahead here. And like I say, I want to leave some of that uh, lighter color in there, so because it'll be covered even more when I get in and do the dry brushing on it. Um, and I'll do a couple different colors of dry brushing just to match the rocks that are already on the base. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up here and uh, move everything inside and start gluing everything down and painting the main rocks, uh, which would, I went ahead and made a couple more while the stuff was drying. Um, in the base I have now, I've got a lot of big ones, so I needed, I needed some smaller pebble type on there. So I'll take those in, in here in just a minute and start painting those up and uh, getting them lined up on the base. All right, see you in a few. I'm uh, ready to start in here painting these rocks. I'm gonna show you a couple here that I've done already. Um, this is the trout base that I've done here. Um, it's the rainbow. And this is one that I've done. The rocks are all carved out of Tupelo. And you can see the gravel here um, that goes around in between the rocks. It all gets glued down. Um, there is a, uh, I've got the little brass piece here. The fish mounts on. I'm going to glue that down later. But So that's uh, the trout. Here's the bluegill base. Uh, these rocks are all carved. And since it was kind of a supposed to be depicting them like a, just a regular old muddy lake bottom, I left more texture on these rocks. Made them a little rougher looking than say the ones on the trout, which were in a trout stream or a riverbed, so they're always more rounded. The bottom is the uh, water putty that's been painted to look like mud. The leaves are actually ones I picked up out of the yard. I couldn't. I tried to carve some, but I just couldn't get them to uh, couldn't get them to look like I wanted. So I just picked up some out of the yard and. Uh, Gave them several coats of uh, Mod Podge. Um, once it dries, it's kind of like a plastic. It kind of encases them in a in acrylic plastic, and um, painted them. And then they got clear coated as well, so they're they're on there for a while. Uh, but anyway, that's the brand of the bluegill. So. The bass, um, I've got part of it going already. I don't know if I can get all this in here or not. This is a little bit wider. These aren't glued down yet, so I just kind of got them in place. The, the piece of wood is mounted and attached already. But these are the rocks that I'm going to go on. And the bass will mount on something similar to that. Say I can't get wide enough on there, but anyway, he's going to in here like that so uh, so that's what these rocks were for today I'm gonna put them on oh and uh, if you saw it on the trout base too I've got I put some moss around on them to keep it look like to make it look like algae um, there's several of them here you can see and I what I use for that it's just sawdust, real fine sawdust that I've dyed. Um, so that's a, and you can buy basically the same thing in Hobby Lobby. Uh, railroaders use it for, um, model railroaders use it for doing turf on their model railroads. But I'll be putting some of that on there as well. But here's the rocks that we carved earlier today. I'm getting ready to paint these so we'll I'm gonna paint them three different colors so I'm gonna have me three piles here uh, I got the other rocks on the base um, roughly three different colors so I'll put these in here I don't know where to put this one I'll put it in with this one or maybe this one anyway so these all get painted three separate colors 
Um, and, and I just use a little styrofoam plate to uh, mix my paint in with. 